Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will generate a C code using STM32 CubeMX for a STM32 F4 discovery board. In the very first program, we will generate a code for LED blinking. So, first click on the new project. A new pop up window will open out where we will select our board. So, it is a discovery board with MCU series of Cortex uh, M4 with the floating point. So, it is F4 and board number is 407 discovery board and you can see the detail of this board it has on board ST link version 2 and you can supply voltage through the ST link USB and also it has a high speed USB on the go with a micro AV connector and also this uh, STM board also have a ST MEMS 3 axis accelerometer and also you can see here the all peripherals it includes accelerometer audio in out, out buttons so see digital input output EP ROM graphic LCD interface also available okay so uh, click on ok fine just wait for a few seconds and uh, it has a LQFP 100 pins uh, in this microcontroller and as you can see here some of pins are into the green color it means these pins have been already assigned to some function and uh, these gray pins is into the reset mode that's when these pins are free to assign to any number of uh, functions means any alternate functions these are the alternate functions available to PB14 similarly the alternate functions available to PD10 is these functions okay but we do not need all these functions so we can clear out these functions using clear pinout only we need RCC to select HSC into the crystal and ceramic resonators these pins are connected with the PS0 and the PH1 and into the systems if we want to debug we can select a serial wire debugging ok and the time based source must be the SysTick and now this board have a 4 user LED and those LEDs are connected with the PD15, PD14, PD13 and the PD12 so let's blink only one LED and we are selecting here PD15 and here it is PD15 and uh, make it as a GPIO output and also uh, ADC1, ADC2 and 3 is, it is also multiplexed with all these 3 ADCs timer, channel 4 GPIO input outputs, GPIO analogs, event out and the GPIO external interrupts. So here select a GPIO output and if I press control and click here it will show the alternate functions. Okay. Fine. So uh, that's mean that if GPIO out I have been selected GPIO out this mean that means I can select all other pins these are which are blinkings as a GPIO output. And if I select it as a ADC external uh, interrupt 15, then let's see if I click here. So only these which pins are highlighting, these pins can be selected as an alternate function same as a PD15. Okay. So now let's select it as a GPIO output and uh, come to the clock configuration. And uh, here we can select 168 megahertz maximum and press the enter it will automatically search for a proper clock setting then you can click on a configuration into the configuration folder we do not need to use uh, DM main and into the RCC click on RCC global interrupt click on OK and into the NVIC we do not to we, we do not need to change anything here just click on a GPIO so this is a normal GPIO pins we also do not need to change anything here okay so just generate a code from here copy only the necessary files and project name let's give the project name before giving project name let's select the folder and uh, that is 4 let's make a new folder here okay, so this is a folder let's select project name LED blink and tool chain ID is 
uh, MDK ARM version 5 and the minimum heap size is 1 KB and the stack size is 512 byte has been already selected just click on OK it will generate a new code open your project then here you can see it has application user folder and all in, in these folders it has HAL library and ARM MDK startup files and the CMC driver libraries so uh, these three files is corresponding to the interrupts hall MSP and the main okay so only we need to add two line of code into the main come to the while under between these two uh, comment lines user code begin 3 and end 3 if we add extra lines here in between these two uh, comment lines then uh, then it will be preserved that means suppose that for some reason if I come back here and uh, regenerate code okay and uh, uh, if we do not write uh, our code in between these two lines it will be lost otherwise it will be preserved here okay so our LED is connected with the PD15 and I have initialized pin number PD15 you can see here GPIO15 okay into the reset mode and then finally it is initialized as output mode okay and GPIO speed is low so now we need to toggle this GPIO PD15 fine so the GPIO PD15 toggle pins uh, toggle function is available into GPIO.c you can see click on a function then you can see these are the files and the functions which are available to use in this project so click to expand GPIO.c you can see these functions are available for GPIO manipulations I can use any of these functions so I need these functions HAL GPIO toggle pin ok so HAL underscore GPIO toggle pin and uh, it is GPIO D and pin number is GPIO pin sorry it is a pin number GPIO pin 15 okay so and also I I need to add a delay here let's say whole delay add a 250 millisecond delay that's mean it will blink two time in one second and let's compile this code okay now it is compiling all these files first time so that it will take a little bit time but after that if I change some in this code and uh, when I recompile it it won't take a much time here you can see 2.616 KB code and zero errors zero warning that's been uh, our code has been successfully built now you can upload code into the microcontroller now after uploading the microcontroller I need to uh, press the reset button ok so here you can see there are two buttons here uh, one is uh, user button and here is reset button if I press reset button it will start to blink see Now thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for next tutorial. In the next tutorial we will interface this GPIO pins with the LED and in the next tutorial when I will press this GPIO pins it will change its toggle frequency. Ok so thanks for watching this tutorial.